Happy Sabbath, Princeton University. We are here for the a new ACFI conference, and I'm here with my special guest, Pastor Stephen Lee, president of the New Jersey Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. It is a privilege for a New Jersey Conference to partner with ACF and ANU, and this is really a student-led movement. Just like our Seventh-day Adventist Church as an organization, it started with a group of young people just like yourself uh, who are serious about studying the Bible, who are serious about connecting with God. And if you look at the story of Reformation, many of it started in university campuses. And it is my hope and prayer that there will be another revival and reformation taking place here at Princeton University, which was started to be a seminary training pastors, which is now a very secular university. May there be another resurgence of um, God-fearing young people who will finish the work for the Lord. And Pastor Stephen Lee, you're one of the featured speakers at this event. Can you just give our followers, our viewers, a little bit of the preview of what you're going to be talking about? So I have the privilege of doing a workshop on growing into Christ, a subject that was given to me to share. And this is an exciting topic because oftentimes we treat young people as, as babies. And, and they remain as babies because of the expectation placed upon them. But we need leaders. We need young leaders who will step up, who will be maturing as Christians so that they will take a leadership role in our church today. So we wanted to hear from you. Uh, what, what, what are you looking forward to this conference? I had the privilege of meeting people from Yale, from Maryland, from Pennsylvania, from New Jersey, all over the place. And may this be a time of networking, but also uh, realizing that we're not alone in this. There are many others all around who are, who are just on fire for Christ. So may you leave this place experiencing a newness of life, becoming a new creature in Christ so that you will have tons of things to share about what you have witnessed here. Hi everyone, my name is Esther Kim and I'm currently serving at the Iowa State University. If you guys can wave your hands. Woo! If you guys are president of the Princeton ACF. Mr. Kim has been one of the organizers of the ANU ACFI conference. How has your experience been like organizing this event? It's the first time that we are collaborating with ACF. So, you know, coming together, praying with you guys. I think organizing such a big event uh, is also a first time for us. So that has been a challenge, but I think God has really helped us um, organize to make this event come together. How do events like these help them connect and, and grow closer to Christ? Yeah, very good question. I think, you know, as uh, Sunday Adventists, especially on these public campuses, right, to be able to see other young people ministering to others on their own campuses, public campuses, and to come together and to uplift each other and to grow in Christ, I think that would be a very key experience for these students here. Uh, what is the significance that you think of a large event like this at a major university like a Yale at a Princeton for strengthening the faith of our Seventh-day Adventist youth? It's, it's very positive that we have Adventist universities and colleges where students can, you know, be in environments where everyone is like-minded. But I think it's also important that we have students represented at secular campuses and universities. And so to have an event like this at a secular institution, I think, just gives us more exposure. And, and can potentially bring in some, some new faces and, and some new eyes um, to what the Adventist movement is all about. It's great to be able to kind of bring representation to different campuses, um, let people know who we are and what we're about. Um, an event like this is just a great way to, I guess, introduce um, to people what it means to be Adventist. And yeah, I'm glad to just be able to be here and be a part. The reason why I'm excited is I look at the young people who and I just look at the potential that is in this room. Mm -hmm. You will have graduates from Princeton, from Yale, from all over the place. Mm. And the creativity, mm. the potential to change uh, society, to make an impact, 
in a positive way to to have um, a credible Christian voice mm -hmm. in culture and society today by people who are informed, who have convictions, and to do this with um, passion and um, and kindness. kindness. You know that just uh, excites me. And we're here with uh, the very own. Kevin Christensen, executive producer for The Hopeful. Uh, Kevin brought The Hopeful here to Princeton University, the first ever screening of this Adventist movie here on Princeton's campus. Thank you. This was a great experience to have because it was such a good group um, to have a discussion with afterward. After, after we finished screening the film, we did a Q&A, and the kinds of questions that this group asked, it was very insightful, it was very thoughtful, uh, it was very thought-provoking. Um, you know, we've done a number of screenings. I mean, I've done it around the country, even globally around the world. We're in cinemas in Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Papua New Guinea right now. And so you always get different sets of questions no matter where you go. But here you could tell that this group, they were insightful. They're, they're really thinking through their own faith journey personally with this and really wanting to know even the larger picture of what does this mean uh, for Adventists as a whole and for us as young people with this next step in our journey. If you haven't seen the film, check it out and I pray that you would find the same hope that 180 years ago we experienced as a, as a people, as a hopeful people, and we carry that same hopeful people attitude and spirit today. Pastor Jermaine Gale just delivered a powerful testimony. What is the message that you think that our youth, our young adults, that are going to places like Princeton University that you would like to leave them with? Yeah, I think the, the simple reality of making sure the Word of God exists in places like this is so important and so so needed, especially today in our, in our world, where truth has become relative. It's important, it's imperative, and it's profoundly impactful to know that the Word of God is being preached on this college campus. And just wanted to encourage our students to keep studying the Word, keep sharing the Word, and keep living the Word wherever you go.